สวัสดีครับ Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, a very warm welcome to all of you, and thank you very much, Nayeli, for handing me the stage from New York. My name is Bob Natapong Nam Sri Kun, and I'm going to be the moderator for today's event, Uniting Business Sustainability in ASEAN. It is a great honor to welcome you and all of our online viewers to this event live. From the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and Pacific (UNSCAP) in Bangkok, Thailand, the Leader Summit has been bringing together a global audience of stakeholders from the United Nations, government, business, civil society, and all of our local networks. The Uniting Business Sustainability in ASEAN Conference, the in-person part. Of the leaders of MET is following the Latin American and Chinese virtual sessions, and is now live here in Bangkok, and retransmitted simultaneously to wherever you may be in the world. In the UNSCAP conference hall today, our great audience includes business leaders, UN representatives, global compact local networks, and all of you. Joining us live across Asia and the world, this event was co-created by five global compact local networks, covering six countries: Indonesia, the Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia, Brunei, and Thailand. In partnership with UNSCAP and UN Resident Coordinator Service in Thailand, through this event. We want to inform, inspire, and catalyze local and regional solutions for advancing policies that will drive economic growth and accelerate progress towards sustainable development goals in the ASEAN region. And with its interconnectedness, ASEAN is raising the bar on growth and innovation. ASEAN. Can be a game changer in uniting business for sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, in this opening plenary of this event, we will hear from sustainability champions and also the UN leaders. And now let's give a warm welcome to our speakers and launch uniting business sustainability in ASEAN. Ladies and gentlemen. And now, may I invite the Under Secretary General of the United Nations and Executive Secretary of the UN SCAP to deliver an opening remark? Please welcome Her Excellency Amida Saucia Alice Jabana. Please welcome Her Excellency on stage. Sanda Oyembo, Assistant Secretary General and CEO of UN Global Compact, Ms. Ruen Fadi Suan Mongkol, Secretary General of the Securities and Exchange Commission of Thailand, Mr. Lee George Lam, Chair of the ESCAP Sustainable Business Network or ESBN, Mr. Nopadol Dej Udon, Chief Sustainability Officer of Charun Pokpan Group and Secretary General of the Global Compact Network Thailand, Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning. On behalf of ESCAP, it is my great pleasure to warmly welcome you to the Unite, Uniting Business Sustainability in ASEAN that ESCAP has organized together with the UN Global Compact. We are meeting at a critical juncture as countries gradually open. Their borders and lift restrictions that were put in place due to the pandemic. 
Over the last two years, countries in the Asia-Pacific region have been adversely affected by the pandemic and the ensuing socio-economic downturns it has caused. In Southeast Asia, the pandemic has exacerbated existing inequalities and severely impacted the most vulnerable sections of the population. The crisis has shown that the region needs to invest in its health infrastructure, address the digital divide across the region, and improve trade and transport connectivity. While climate change may have fallen out of public eye during the most challenging parts of pandemic, it did not disappear. Natural disasters affecting the region are a reminder that much work needs to be done in building disaster resilience in each country. The immediate challenge facing countries in the region is to regain the momentum on sustainable development. Tackling these challenges will require public-private partnership and cooperation. We need coordinated action by governments, businesses, and civil society to build back better and greener for achieving the sustainable development goal and tackling climate change. Here, I would like to highlight key areas relevant to our discussion today. First, the private sector has a vital role to play. Businesses across sectors need to embrace a transformational change to decarbonize their operation and supply chain and be fully aligned with the goal of the Paris Agreement. Second, micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises, which are the backbone of the private sector, represent a wide range of businesses that can contribute to sustainable development. This is also true for the ASEAN region, where MSMEs are an integral part to economic growth and are significant generators of employment. And lastly, the SCAP Sustainable Business Network, or uh, maybe more popularly known as ESBN, consisting of representatives of the private sector from the region, the Asia-Pacific region, has adopted the Asia-Pacific Green Deal for Business Declaration as a roadmap for companies to take the lead on climate action. ESBN through the Green Deal will lead private sector sustainability efforts to accelerate a green transformation in the region. We stand ready to support the Asia Pacific Green Deal for business. I wish you a successful, lively, as well as fruitful discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Her Excellency Amida Saucia Alice Jabana. And as she said, there are so many, many works to be done. And there will, there will be so many topics that we will be discussed today. And thank you very much. And next, we will hear from the Assistant Secretary General and the CEO of the United Nations Global Compact, Ms. Sanda Odiambo. Ms. Odiambo, could not be here in person, but fortunately, she will share her thoughts with us virtually. And now the stage is all yours, Ms. Ojiombo. Excellencies, colleagues, business leaders, and distinguished guests. It is my pleasure to welcome you, although from afar, to Bangkok for this uniting business, Sustainability in ASEAN event, which is part of the 2022 UN Global Compact Leaders Summit. Many thanks to ESCAP, the UN Economic Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, and the Global Compacts Network in Thailand for organizing this in-person session as part of our 26-hour virtual Leaders Summit. This year, the Leaders Summit, our annual flagship event, brings together over 10,000 leaders from business, civil society, the United Nations, and governments from across the globe. The role of this ASEAN session is to convene key stakeholders, to measure progress towards the SDGs in Southeast Asia, to address gaps in knowledge as well as resources and funding, to identify opportunities for meaningful partnership, and to build upon the global network of leaders that are so committed to driving ambition and action on the SDGs. The program today is the result of the joint efforts by UN Global Compact's local networks in Thailand, Indonesia, the Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia and Brunei, with Thailand acting as the host. The UN Global Compact is all about change on a global scale. 
We aim to accelerate the collective impact of business by upholding our 10 principles and delivering on the SDGs through accountable companies and ecosystems to enable change. Now, the ASEAN region is so critical to our global mission. There are many opportunities in the region, including in Thailand, where the UN Global Compact can help advance responsible leadership and tap into the innovation, solutions, and resources that are so needed to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. We are seeing great innovations ushered in by digital empowerment at the grassroots level and post-pandemic efforts to build resilient and sustainable supply chains. We see clear opportunities for the private sector to make ambitious commitments around carbon emissions and around financing for development. We see the national initiatives are embracing gender equality and support for small and medium enterprises, which is key to unlocking economic growth. Within the Global Compact's network of over 15,000 business participants, our shared strategic ambition is to scale up the private sector's impact. And now is the moment for our local networks and our key partners in the ASEAN region to deepen their engagement. On climate, for example, our networks are collaborating to roll out the Climate Ambition Accelerator to help companies align their operations with science-based targets which is a critical step towards the Paris Agreement. We are keen to bring more companies into the fold. One of the exciting sessions today will also discuss how SMEs can contribute to transformational change. Our Thailand network is planning to launch an SME clinic to engage participants in using the Global Compact's soon to be launched SME toolkit. Furthermore, the Malaysia and Brunei network is launching a center of excellence for SME training and capacity building. And the Philippines network has pivoted towards SME-focused post-pandemic programming. And this is just a snapshot. Our 15 networks throughout the region are working relentlessly to scale impact on the ground. The Asia-Pacific region has the potential to be a torchbearer, not just for this region, but for the wider world. So I urge you to be torchbearers and to accelerate your efforts towards the 2030 agenda. I'm confident that you will. The UN Global Compact is here to work with you side by side, uniting business for a better world. In closing, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to the Executive Secretary, Almeida Alice Jabana, for her support of this event. I'd also like to warmly thank Gita Sabawal, my friend, and the United Nations Resident Coordinator in Thailand, and her team for being champions of the UN Global Compact. And finally, I'd wish to commend Network Thailand led by Executive Director Tanya and her team and the other ASEAN networks for their passion in putting together this event. I wish you all the very best for a great event. Thank you for being a key part of our Leaders Summit. And that was incredibly inspiring indeed. Thank you very much once again to Ms. Ojiambo. And that was wonderful. And I am so sure that we will have a chance to welcome you to Bangkok in very soon. And next, I have the great pleasure to invite on stage the Chief Sustainability Officer of Jordan Pokapan Group and the Secretary General of Global Compact Network Thailand to deliver his keynote address. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a great pleasure to welcome Kunopadon Dead Udom on stage. Please welcome. Welcome to Thailand. Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to speak on behalf of Global Compact Network Thailand. I appreciate it and the invitation and recognize the hard work of the UN Global Compact team that made this event possible. I'm honored to be joined by our friends from throughout the ASEAN region, especially Global Compact Network in Indonesia, the Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia, and Brunei. We meet today as ASEAN and the world is facing great difficulties and the hardship on one hand, but also tremendous opportunities on the other. The ongoing COVID pandemic, the conflict in Ukraine, 
intensifying impacts of climate change, rising inflation driven by energy and uh, community prices. All this um, and more seems like a perfect storm of crisis that we must face all at once. But they can also serve as a wake-up call, a preview to what might happen if we fail to act on vital sustainability issues. This situation provides an opportunity for us to rethink the path of social and economic development and the role of and responsibility of the business sector in shaping the global sustainability agenda. The UN Global Compact was set up to direct the power of business as a force for good. It started with recognitions that businesses have contributed significantly to create and intensify most of the world's major problems today. Climate change, biodiversity loss, air and water pollution, inequality and violation of human rights. At the same time, businesses possess the resources and capabilities to help solve these problems. As business leaders, we must shoulder the responsibility of not only addressing our own negative impact on environment and society or the do no harm approach, but also go further to utilize our energy and expertise to actively help solving these problems. It's an encouraging sign to see more and more businesses embracing the UN Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs in their core business considerations, becoming an active participant in the global effort to address the 17 key sustainability challenges. But despite progress in many areas, much work remains to be done. For example, despite the increasing numbers and more ambitious nature of climate commitments uh, by countries and companies around the world, and more widespread adoption of clean energy, we are still not on track to maintain global warming under two degrees, let alone the 1.5 degrees Celsius target. Despite more actions by consumers, businesses, and governments on plastic pollution, the world still released five to 10 million tons of plastic waste into the ocean each year. Thailand, for example, moved from being number six largest contributor to marine plastic waste to number nine, uh, only a slight improvement. But it is estimated that more than 20,000 tons of plastics from Thailand still get released into the sea. It may seem daunting that in spite of all of our efforts, we can see only a small progress. However, this means that we have to increase our efforts, adjust our strategies, share our learnings, form partnerships for meaningful collaboration, and scale up our actions. Global compact networks such as GCNT and similar networks in ASEAN and throughout the world serve as a forum to do just that. Today, we will discuss on how business leaders can come together to drive concrete actions on SDGs. Our conversations will highlight how the ASEAN region has been a leading example within the wider Asia Pacific region in building back better together in a post COVID war world and cover areas such as climate, uh, biodiversity and social development. Ladies and gentlemen, the perfect storm mentioned earlier could be considered as a blessing in disguise to prepare us for what's to come. Time is running out and we need to act now as our survival depends upon it. Thank you very much. I wish you all a fruitful discussion today. And once again, thank you very much, Kunopadonte Udon, for the great speech and the call to action. And next, may I now invite 
the Secretary General of Securities and Exchange Commission Thailand to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kun Arun Wadi Suwan Mongkon. Please welcome Kun Arun Wadi on stage. Good morning, uh, Her Excellency Amita Salsisa Alice Jabana, uh, Under Secretary General of the United Nations and Executive Secretary of the UNSCAP, Ms. Sanda Ojimbo, Assistant Secretary General and CEO, UN Global Compact, Ms. Gita Saprawa, Resident Coordinator in Thailand, Kun Nopadon Devudom, Secretary General Global Compact Network, Thailand, Mr. Lee George Lam, Chair of the SCAP Sustainable Business Network, distinguished panelists, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I would like uh, to thank uh, United Nations Global Compact, uh, UNSCAP, and the Global Compact Network Thailand for organizing uh, this event, the Uniting Business Sustainability in ASEAN, which is part of the 2022 uh, UN Global Compact Leaders Summit uh, to promote cooperative and effective solution in driving economic growth and accelerating progress toward the, SD, toward the UN SDG and Paris Agreement objective in the ASEAN region. It gives me a great pleasure and honor to join you today. Uh, Thailand, as you all know, has embedded the commitment to the sustainable development goals and its nationally determined contribution or NDC in its 20 years national strategy. At the COP26, the Prime Minister clearly expressed Thailand's willingness to fight climate change, aiming to reach carbon neutrality in 2050 and net zero emissions by 2065. This helped set a strong signal and direction from the top, which are well received by every organization, including both public and private, in order to shape their ESD direction, policy, and strategy. As the Thai capital market regulator, SEC Thailand fully commit to promote the development of the sustainable investment climate and responsible investment business uh, in line with the United Nations 2030 Agenda for SDG. Believing that our enabling mechanism must be put in place to advance the sustainable development agenda, the SEC and all stakeholders, I must emphasize, all stakeholders in the capital market have developed a roadmap with an aim to build a robust sustainable finance ecosystem. We envision a self-reinforcing flywheel driven by six key foundations. Uh, I would like to uh, illustrate to you the six uh, key foundations in brief. One, the commitment of the issuer to the ESG and enriched data sources from the quality disclosure. I am pleased to inform you that starting of this year, the SEC has requested all 700 plus listed company to disclose as a first time, mandatory for the first time, their sustainable report, which include one, carbon emission, and second, business and human rights. Second, financing tools whose features are well aligned with a variety of issuers' objectives. Third, the market force from the investors demanding a sustainability business model. Fourth, supporting the local reviewer and, more importantly, the local taxonomy. Fifth, launching a sustainable bond information platform. And last, 
establishing a strong cooperation and engagement from all stakeholders, both domestic and international. In addition, in August last year, the National Financial Authority and policy maker in Thailand, which include Ministry of Finance, Bank of Thailand, SEC, and Office of Insurance Commission and the Stock Exchange of Thailand, have joined hands in hand uh, and launched the so-called Country Sustainable Finance Master Plan to further cultivate the crucial foundation across the entire financial sector, which will help create even greater and wider impact. Ladies and gentlemen, these are some clear examples of SEC Thailand progress toward SDG contribution. We expect that a strong collaboration among key parties, including a Global Compact Network Thailand, uh, which contribute the achievement of the SDG. SEC Thailand seeks to increase the knowledge and the sense of the ownership of the SEC. SDG with the support of national government and international organization. The awareness raising and communication campaign for listed company, including the supply chain, should aim to build a commitment of institutions and other stakeholders to the local localization of the 2030 agenda. As we commemorate our SEC Thailand 30 years uh, this month, we will continue to embrace the principle of SDG as we are fully aware of the consequences and the sense of urgency. We have laid out our strategic plan 2022 to 2024 with an aim to enhance competitiveness, ensure inclusiveness, and strengthen trust and confidence in the Thai capital market. We are willing to drive our effort to ensure that the capital market is the key engine or the catalyst in restructuring and digitizing the Thai economy. We hope that this will help the country economy adapt to the changing landscape and be recognized in the international arena. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that taking ESG principle into consideration as well as an effective coordination among governments, private sector, civil society, and the public sector will be a crucial driving our future sustainable economic growth, allowing the world to rebuild better and meet the SDG goals by 2030. Thank you very much and Kakun Ka. And once again, a round of applause for Kun Rune Wadi Su Wan Mongkon. Thank you very much. And as we say, last but not least, we are joined virtually by the chair of DSCAP, Sustainable Business Network or ESBN. Ladies and gentlemen, and now please give a big hand to Mr. Lee George. Lam, and now the stage is yours, Ms. Lee. Thank you. Executive uh, Secretary Amida, uh, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, congratulations on this uh, today's uh, event uh, with the important theme of uniting business sustainability in Asia. This is also a very timely forum. Because as we speak now, the world is still in the COVID-19 pandemic. And we are also facing this emergency mode situation. And this event is part of the 2022 Leader Summit, the UN Global Compact Annual Flagship Event. So it is a golden opportunity to bring together leaders in sustainability and also to bring more spotlight to the ASEAN region, which is the torch bearer in the wider Asian Pacific region, uh, particularly in our collective effort in building back better together in the post COVID-19 pandemic period. 
it is in this context that the SCAP Sustainable Business Network has been working hard to put together a green deal for business, which is an action plan to call for specific actions to be taken across green energy area, green infrastructure and logistics, green finance, green innovation, green production, consumption, and waste. These are important pillars of the green transformation are really the key areas for collective efforts from the business sector. The business sector, uh, as Executive Secretary Amida said, has a vital role to play. We are indeed very privileged because we have the best access to financing for development and science, technology, and innovation of resources. So it is our responsibility and our opportunity, also our honor and pleasure to take the lead in working more closely, faster with governments and communities towards achieving an inclusive and sustainable future for all of us, particularly in this region, because the ASEAN region is a key driver, torch bearer for Asia Pacific. So in the business sector, um, if we work together with governments and communities closer and more closer and also uh, faster and with more effort, particularly with more uh, green solution, smarter solutions, then we can together bring more big investment to the table, including ESG investment. We can bring more technical support to help, particularly in the deployment of green energy and renewable energy. And we can bring about better regulatory changes, for example, more and better sustainability reporting and monitoring. And we can also bring about more educational uh, efforts and impact in developing, in developing the young people and helping SMEs. So in conclusion, I appeal for captains of industries and major companies across industry to take the lead in working with governments and communities together and to implement SDG 17 together successfully. Time is of the essence. And we need to unite business and mobilize business for achieving a sustainable and inclusive future for all of us. Thank you. The chair of the SCAP Sustainable Business Network, ESPN, thank you very much for your inspiring words from Mr. Lee. And that will spark today's thought provoking discussions, I believe. And despite ASEAN's potential, a lot of challenges await the region to deliver on the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. And our next panel will delve into these challenges and discuss the importance and value of setting and integrating these ambitious goals across their operations and supply chains. Ladies and gentlemen, Without further ado, and here is our esteemed panel. May I introduce you the panelists of our first session today. We have the Chief Sustainability Officer of Asia Pop and Paper Cinemas, Ms. Elim C. Taba. Please welcome 